Hello, this is Katinka from Fit with Food. And lately I've had lots of clients and also people online ask me what leaky gut is. Some people seem to think that it's just stuff leaking out of your butt, like as in diarrhea, but that's not what it is. It's um, a little bit different. So let me show you how this actually uh, happens. And um, you might also be able to figure out afterwards if you have it. Leaky gut happens in your small intestine. And it means that the walls of your small intestine are not tight anymore and let things through that they shouldn't let through. So usually macronutrients go through like uh, amino acids and vitamins and minerals. But in this case, some kind of inflammation has caused other particles to be able to get through those linings, the walls of your small intestine. So you eat your chicken dinner, you eat your bread, you eat your broccoli, and all of a sudden all kinds of particles leak through the walls into your intestine. Maybe even bacteria came with your chicken dinner because it wasn't properly cooked and hey, there it goes. Outside the walls of your intestine, the immune system is waiting to catch those things that aren't supposed to go through. But if there's constantly stuff leaking through that shouldn't come through, well, guess what? You start having problems and the immune system is constantly active, constantly fighting, and some stuff might even leak into your blood where you don't want to have it. And the result is constant inflammation basically happening outside of your gut lining and later then constant inflammation happening in your body. This is why we really want to avoid having an inflamed and leaky gut. And also uh, on the long run, we want to heal it if it's already present. So what causes leaky gut? Um, leaky gut can be caused by uh, an infection that you've had, by a parasite or a virus or bacteria in your gut. It can also be caused by bad diet, meaning lots of processed foods, pizza, burger, fries, uh, chips, sweets, what have you. Uh, over the long run, this will cause an imbalance in your gut, microbiota that are in your gut. And um, that in turn kind of breaks down the walls of your intestine and so stuff can leak through. Or it can be caused by certain medications like uh, long-term use of PPIs, uh, acid blockers in your stomach or bad bile flow, lots of things. Um, but the good thing is you can heal it. So how can you tell that you have leaky gut? Well, usually it comes along with some digestive issues like bloating, distensions, maybe you're farting a lot, burping, sometimes even diarrhea or constipation. Um, very often food sensitivities and intolerances develop. The, the common culprits are, are gluten or lactose, but can also be all kinds of other foods that, that bother you. Uh, good news is once you heal the leaky gut, you can eat all those things again. Some people develop joint or muscle pain, uh, skin issues, acne, rash, hormonal Im imbalances, and even fatigue and depression can be caused by leaky gut. So if you have, you know, several of those symptoms, maybe it's something you need to look into. There are some tests out there, uh, breath tests and blood tests to establish if there is inflammation. But uh, usually it's hard to tell where exactly the inflammation is coming from. So it's not conclusive. It's much easier that if you suspect you have this, that you address some lifestyle factors like uh, your diet. If you sleep well, if you have lots of stress, you can uh, start eating some probiotics or supplement with them. All these kind of things can help to balance your gut microbiome again and build up your intestinal walls and heal them. So uh, there are many ways to really help your gut heal. Uh, I hope this has been helpful. And if you would like to know more, you can visit my webpage or um, give me a call or follow my Instagram channel.